again, everybody. Today, um, I'm going to show you what my solar panels are producing so far. Um, I'm pretty pleased with them. Now, when I first hooked them up, I had five and five. And I had, you know, five of them in series and, and the other five in series. And then those running in parallel down to the charge controller. I only have a single charge controller right now. And the problem with that is it it went over the voltage. The maximum voltage of the the uh, Renogy charge controller that I have is 100 volts. If you go over 100 volts, then you're over max. So what I had to do, actually the ones on the end, the two solar panels on the ends are not even hooked up now. Uh, they will be. I'm going to get at least six more so I can have two more circuits of four. Uh, but right now I've got four. I've got these four hooked together in series. These four hooked together in series. Not the end of either side. But the four and four, they are hooked together in series. And then those come in and they go in parallel and come out on those two wires and go into the charge controller. Well, let's just go into the charge controller and I'll show you what we're getting. Okay, so this is my Renogy Rover. This is a 30 amp MPPT charge controller. Um, I have a 40 amp ordered and it should be here soon. But you can see the batteries are up and this is actually staying just a little bit warm it was while the batteries were a little lower it was trying to push the voltage into it and uh, it actually over current right now if you can see that display okay right now it is going into boost charge which the battery of course is at 100 percent so it's it's just giving it a boost charge Okay, we are getting 76 volts and we have 21 amps of solar coming in and that has dropped because of the fact that the battery is charging up more you're not getting the full amperage because it, it draws more amps the more uh, power you need the more it takes so see the battery is at a hundred percent Battery is 14.6, 14.5. That's the mode. That's that's 32 amp hours. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what time it is. It's about, about 12, maybe 1 o'clock. And it's uh, already got 32 amp hours. It's not bad, I guess. Um, and te the temperature sensor, this one, this temperature sensor is not hooked up. That's your load setting. And this is the error codes, which it was saying 8. And when you have an error thrown on this, it lights up this light too. Uh, so you can tell from a distance away that you've got it lit up. But right now it's 0. It was 8, which is over current for this. That's why I've ordered another charge controller. Because this one will not keep up with the panels that I've got. And that's even with two of them unhooked. So, so like I said, it's only pulling 20 amps. Let me go turn on a load and see if we can get it to amp up again. Okay, so here we have our coffee pot. Plug that in. I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. I don't really want to make a whole pot of coffee. We'll just put a little bit of water in it so it'll run and pull some wattage. This pulls about 850 to 900 watts when it's running. Right there, yeah, I seen the light dim whenever I did that. So right now we are pulling some wattage. Okay, there is a charge controller showing 860 watts 850 watts 
Of course, it's drawing the battery down to 11.5 or whatever. Let's go to the charge controller. Okay, there we go. It is pulling 31. It should be kicking into overload any time, but right now we're pulling 31 amps. 57 volts. Battery is showing. Oh, there it went. Now what it will end up doing is it will end up see it, it threw an error 8. So we need to go turn that coffee pot off. But now once we get our 40 amp controller then we should be fine. But see now it's dropped back down. It cuts it off. It it does have safeties in place. Uh, it doesn't get very warm because it doesn't stay overloaded very long. Okay, there it went. It also goes with if the sun goes behind a cloud or something like that too. So, but you can see we're pulling 31 amps at. 74 volts now and it will keep increasing that's, that's one thing even with that mode running it'll keep increasing the voltage of the battery it uh, we have plenty of solar to keep up right now but I'm going to even get more so I'm going to have to have more more charge controllers anyway I have this one I'll have one more that'll be two and I may end up actually having to upgrade this one to a 40 amp. But anyway, just wanted to show how the solar system is putting out right now. Okay, let me go turn that coffee pot off. Okay, so after turning that off, you can see that our amperage is dropping. And our light went off, so we have no more error code. So it has no problem whatsoever running um, running the water heater and the refrigerator, TV, and the lights. It has no problem whatsoever. It really, if when I have the upgraded uh, charge controller, it will also run the coffee pot with no problem too. So I think we're going to be fine with uh, the setup once we get everything in. And I'm going to go over how... Like some of this wiring is going to be changed. Uh, I'm going to up the size of the wire going actually down to the batteries. Uh, probably from the individual charge controllers, I'll have uh, the 10 gauge. And then I'll go to probably 8 or 6 down to the batteries. The batteries I will probably end up, I'm thinking, I may cut this out and put the lithium batteries in here. For one thing, it won't take up as much room, and the run to the batteries will be shorter instead of having to go all the way down to the bottom floor. It can just go this distance, and it'll be at the batteries. Uh, that would save me some wire and, and some voltage loss. But you can see the battery's charging up, so the amperage is dropping. And you can see the battery's already at 100%. The battery really didn't discharge any. It was, or very little. It was just being pulled down by the uh, coffee pot. But you can see it is working. Well, at least it is working. Now, uh, I'm going to do a little update once I get, I've got a few more things ordered. Like I have two lithium batteries ordered, two 100 amp hour. Lithium batteries. I have that 40 amp charge controller and uh, getting some more wire and stuff like that, some connectors. Uh, that way, everything will be properly connected. I even, what are, I even have a couple of breakers. Uh, these are pretty nice. You just uh, you want to disconnect them, push that button, little tab pops down, and it's disconnected. To reconnect it, just flip that back up. These are handy. I got a few of these. We'll have all this hooked up, and it should be 
relatively safe. I want to make it I want to make it as safe as I can and I want to also have it to where it'll be efficient and get the most out of the money that I spent on it. Anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.